What is going on you guys? Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys to the gym for the first time in a hot, hot minute, you guys. I cannot remember the last time that we did a gym workout together, and I'm so excited to switch it up today. So we do still have to wear our masks here in Canada, but it is what it is. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a couple's leg workout for you guys. So gonna be taking you guys through that we have to create the master plan of destruction and we will see you at the gym hope you guys like today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and hit that subscribe button here I am drinking one shot of espresso with some almond milk cinnamon and vanilla stevia so I'm just having this as my pre-workout but then I'm also gonna be having one scoop of one of nutrition stimulant free pre-workout so I can have coffee because this doesn't have any caffeine in it, which is why I love it, but it still has the same endurance enhancing mood and energy benefits that a pre-workout does with zero caffeine. It also has beta alanine, which is good for blood flow to help you get that pump and the rainbow candy tastes like Skittles. So I'm going to get that ready and have that before I get out the door. Couples leg day. Starting off this workout, I put my vegan one-up nutrition BCAAs into my shaker and I stretch it out on the mat. The BCAAs are going to help me with repair and recovery and not be as sore after this leg day because my hamstrings are already toast. <laughs> so the first exercise that I always, always start off my lower body workouts with whenever I'm at the gym is the barbell hip thrust. I personally like to do pyramid style, which means a pyramid lift is when you start with your lightest weight and then you finish with your heaviest lift. So there's five sets here. One to two sets is getting the glutes pumped, getting them, you know, the blood flowing. And then those three working sets usually hit the glutes exactly where I want to as I increase weight each set. So I started with just a 45 pound plate on either side and then I did eventually work up to my heaviest lift, which was two 45 pound plates. I personally like to take it slow with the hip thrust. I don't want to feel it in my back. I don't want to feel it in my quads. I want to feel it isolated in my hamstrings and my glutes. So that's just me. And I, as I get more comfortable with this weight, then I will slowly add on more and then just kind of pick up where I left off. So that is my tip to you guys. If you feel it's training in your lower back or you know you feel it more in your quads, then maybe bring the weight back a little bit and keep it isolated in the glutes. You wanna squeeze your glutes the entire time and push through your heels. I always wear flat foot shoes on leg day for glute activation, hamstring activation, and to feel the ex exercise exactly where you want. Next up, we're gonna be doing a circuit. So there's gonna be three exercises in this circuit. The first is a single leg hip thrust. So Daniel likes to use the kettlebell and I personally like to use the dumbbell. There is no right or wrong answer. You're gonna be pushing through that heel, squeezing that glute, really, really isolating it. The first time that I did this, I was extremely sore and it's been a fave ever since. I actually hate them, but they're so good for the booty. So I just hold on to the dumbbell at my hip area and thrust with the one leg, doing 12 reps on either side. The whole point with the circuit is to do one exercise, one exercise after the other with little to no rest in between until you finish all three. Take a 30 to 60 second rest and then repeat the circuit again. So the next exercise in the circuit is weighted jump squats. You're gonna be doing 12 of them. I'm holding two 10 pound plates. Plates are the easiest because they're the best to just hold on to when you're jumping. You can also use kettlebells. It's just the way that you hold it. It's a little bit more comfortable and you can use dumbbells, whatever you prefer. And then the next exercise that we're doing is some double up bicycle crunches. So you're gonna be doing two on each side as you count to 20. This burns. Moving on, we're gonna be doing a superset next. So that means that there is two exercises back to back until you finish both of them. You'll take a 30 to 60 second rest and then you'll repeat it again. So the first exercise in this superset is barbell good mornings. So you can use the pre-weighted barbell here like I am, or you could also use the barbell in the squat rack. Just adjust where they, where the uh, safety pins are to help you. I really do like doing it with the regular barbell. Keep in mind it is 45 pounds, so I'm only probably adding about 10 pound plates. But today I used a 60 pound barbell 
Daniel decided to do some barbell Romanian deadlifts instead of good mornings, whichever you prefer, you have both options. And then you are supersetting it with a dumbbell goblet squat. So you're holding the dumbbell up to your chest, just holding it by the end, coming down as low as you can in your squat while keeping proper form, and then pushing up through your heels while squeezing your glutes. The goblet squat allows you to come down even further into the squat than the dumbbell sumo squat does. So that is why we're holding it a little bit higher. And that is it for today's workout. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Honestly, my hamstrings are so sore right now. So comment down below if you guys give it a try and let me know what you think.